Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Alicia and today I'm sharing with you my February Costco haul. It is quite the haul, a lot of familiar things, a lot of new things, specifically for February because there's like a little Valentine's treat in here. So let me show you all what I picked up. I got some tomatoes. My boys have really been into tomatoes lately. I like to like dice them up and use them like in omelets or like scrambled eggs or on top of sandwiches. And speaking of sandwiches, I also got some spinach for the boys' sandwiches, for mine, for smoothies, all that good stuff, and just throwing it in anywhere, like into some pasta dishes. In fact, I have a pantry slash fridge meal video where I just try to use like whatever I have on hand and I throw spinach often to a lot of dishes. Great thing to have on hand always. Of course, I always get this bread every time I go to Costco. It is our favorite bread. This is going straight into the freezer outside. So this is something that I actually never get at Costco and I honestly, I really should be. The only reason I got it is because it was in the front as soon as I walked into the store. I have very sensitive like teeth and gums, unfortunately, which means I have to buy the expensive toothpaste. But buying it this way makes it so much cheaper. Down here, this was on sale and this was a tremendous price. It is just the the toilet bowl cleaner, the Lysol cleaner. I think it is a four pack um, and it is on sale this month. So definitely get that if that's what you use to clean your toilets with. I haven't gotten Dave's in a long, long time. We still have about less than half a loaf left in the freezer. But again, with any bread I buy, this goes immediately into the freezer. I took my oldest son with me this time and he was like, please, let's get some cauliflower. I usually don't get the cauliflower florets. I usually buy like a head and just cut it up into florets myself. But you know what, let's just do that. I mean, what kid desperately asks for cauliflower? Like really? So I got those for him and for the rest of the fam. I also got some cucumbers. Now these normally come in a three pack, but we've already gotten into one for lunch today. So there you go. A lot smaller than they normally are. They're usually like really, really long, but they're, I don't know what's going on. They're just not growing there or something. Some baby carrots. They've been doing such a good job on cutting the carrots lately. They are much smaller, thinner pieces, so it's easier for my kids to eat for their lunches. Some broccoli florets because it'll just be easier along with the cauliflower to make some quick meals for dinners this week. I always, always get the avocados every single time I go. They have the best avocados. They are so big and they always ripen evenly. Some bananas, I actually decided to get two bundles of bananas and if any start to ripen quicker than, ne than needed, I will just throw them into the freezer because I always use about a quarter of a banana in my smoothies. All right, back here, my husband only has one carton of almond milk left. I can't remember the last time I bought this. It had to have been at least maybe two to three months ago. My husband uses this. He can't have a ton of dairy. I say that as we're about to like have a big charcuterie board tonight, but I should say he chooses the best times to have dairy. So if he can swap out like cream or like any type of coffee creamer in the mornings for his coffee, he'll just do that with almond milk. And this is a great almond milk. So my last haul, I was really trying to find those kitchen storage bins because we got a new fridge finally. And I wanted to make the, my fridge like as fairly organized as possible. And several months ago, I did buy some. They're a different set though. These appear to be like a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna see how they work out for us. Hopefully they'll be they'll be fine. But like I said, they are a little bit thinner. But um, I think these will work well for us. Cereal, a lot of cereal today. We got the cinnamon toast crunch because my husband and my kids like this as a snack. We, they usually don't have this for breakfast. It's mostly just like a snack. And then some honey nut Cheerios. This they could have as a snack. And my son really liked it because it's hearts and. You know, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so we got that. And my oldest son also picked this out. He picked out a some pears. He loves pears. I always forget to buy them though whenever I go to the store. So he saw them. He asked very nicely if we can get some pears. I did stock up on the citrus. I got some mandarin oranges and some, I don't know if I pronounce this right, cara cara oranges. I don't know how you pronounce it. They're like a pinky, a peach, like a, like a grapefruit almost like color inside, but they're sweet. So I got those. And then of course you guys know I always get Berries, strawberries, blueberries. All right, moving on down. This is something I really don't ever normally get, but it's always super crowded in that area. And th that is the rotisserie chicken. 
I usually like to just buy like the whole chicken and roast it myself, but for whatever reason, it was calling my name. I think it's just because I want to have an easy meal tonight. So I picked up the rotisserie chicken and then whatever is left, I will just shred and then freeze it for another meal. Some grapes for my kids' lunches and just for snacks. I always like to have a lot of fruit on hand for them to snack on. Okay, so I usually buy like the, like where you grind your own pepper, but I have really bad tendonitis in my hands and if I can make it easier for me to not have to use my hands as often, I'm just gonna start buying this. And I'm gonna put this into like a little eight ounce mason jar just so I can like get it and sprinkle it and not use it in, the, in this container. I think it'll just help my hands overall to not have to like grind. A long time ago, I don't even remember, maybe like last summer or something, I purchased the canola sprays that come in like in these like spray bottles. I'm switching over to avocado oil. I've heard great things about avocado oil, so I figured this would be a perfect time to purchase it because I'm almost out of the canola. And I also got some bagels for the kids' breakfasts, and then this would probably be more for myself. They smell, it smells so good, you guys. Even like in the bag from where I'm standing, it smells delicious. So you always get a two pack, you get to choose any two packs. All right, and then back here, I desperately needed some Clorox bleach for washing our whites and then washing all those towels and our sheets and to clean with. Whenever my kids get sick, I always like to use bleach, like a little bleach solution to clean up their disgusting messes. <laughs> so I needed to get some of that. Up here's the fun stuff for adults only. So I got some Maker's Mark for my husband who likes old fashions. I got this Kahlua because I like to make, it's called a Bad Santa from half Baked Harvest. It's like a, a coffee cocktail, which is really, really delicious. I'm obsessed with it. So we needed to stock up on the Kahlua. This is my favorite liquid um, detergent. I usually get it at Target whenever they do like the buy four, you get like a gift card, but this was on sale. I knew I needed to grab it. Okay, let's start with a really, really fun stuff. So I picked up some Manchego cheese. This is, I think, similar to like a Parmesan cheese. This I figure I could use in replacement of Parmesan, but I'm also gonna cut this up into little small pieces for our charcuterie board that we are possibly going to have tonight. And then down here, I am all out of pickles. We needed the pickles. So this brand is so delicious and I love that it is brined in like a dill garlic mixture. So it just gives the pickles a much better flavor. I mean, these pickles are delicious anyway, but then the solution they're in is just per like perfection. And my husband got into this already and he said he hates me so much because of how delicious they are. He He's a sucker for macadamia nuts. These are chocolate chip macadamia nut bites. And I think it might have been like in a summer haul, they make this this brand, Honolulu Cookie, they made like a pineapple shortbread. This one's a little bit different and he really enjoyed it, so that's a good thing. And down hiding back here, my little friend, what are you doing? Come in the limelight. Some brie, I could not find brie last time I went to Costco. I really love brie cheese. I'm a, I'm a sucker for soft cheese, so got that for our board later. Um, some chicken, our freezer is completely empty of meats. I think I have like two packages of ground turkey in there, but no chicken. This is a new, I never, this isn't new, but this is new for me. I never usually purchase baguettes at Costco, but what I think I'm gonna do is I may use one tonight, and if I don't end up using any, I'm going to just freeze them. And it even says on there that you can just freeze these. I'm just gonna wrap them up really well and then stick them in my freezer. And then according to the instructions, just heat them up uh, per the instructions. I usually get the, the Kirkland turkey, but um, I wanted to try this for for a couple of reasons. One, just to switch it up, and then two, it was also on sale. That definitely helps, especially because this brand is pretty expensive anyway. So I wanted to give this a try. Always get this ground beef. It, it comes in three bricks. It is 1.34 pounds per brick. Love this stuff. So this is the Valentine's item that I was referring to. Look at, how, and this I got at the very last second. I hate that they do this. They always have like the muffins or like cookies. When you go to check out, like they have them all just like stacked up right there. Like they're in your face. Like how can you ignore it? I saw it and I was like, oh, okay, give them to me. Can I have one please? And it is the mini red velvet cakes. These look so delicious. So wanted to give them a try. I love red velvet. Like I like the Sprinkles brand red velvet cupcake. I think they make the best red velvet. I've never tried these. 
so excited to give these a try. Bacon is always on our list. I love this bacon. It is thick cut. It is in a two pack, but recently my husband has been asking for the Trader Joe's bacon. Oh, that stuff is so good. It's like a black forest bacon and it is fla the flavor is so phenomenal. So we're probably gonna have to make a Trader Joe's haul here soon and then just buy like a ton of it and stick it in our freezer. But for now, this will hold us over. There's no Siete tortilla chips. I have not seen them the past few times I have gone. So I just got the Food Should Taste Good brand and these were on sale, which definitely helped. Some more sale items, the French Roast Holding Coffee. We always, I got my coffee situation over there. We love our French press and some Greek yogurt. I am always needing yogurt. I like to keep it like as a substitute for sour cream. And of course for yogurt parfaits and in my smoothie, and then I got a ton of milk this time because I didn't think we'd be going through this much milk recently But I've been finding myself having to go to Target or like buying like local milk recently So I just decided to pick up two of the packages. So there's four total right there Oh my gosh, and I forgot about this thing down here Okay, let me move this stuff and I will show you what always like catches my eye is when people are surrounding a product I'm like, what are they looking at? I need to see because I FOMO, you know what I mean? This is actually perfect because me and my husband several weeks ago were talking about needing some different um, floor mats for our, my vehicle because they're just like the regular fabric, you know, that are that come with the standard vehicle. And they are really gnarly. They're kind of messed up. But what is cool is that you can cut these to size, which is really, really cool. Let me show you the back. Here's the long section of them. But this is a four, there's four pieces in here. So there's two front mats and then two rear mats. So if I flip this over, you can see right there, there are the rear mats right here, and then you can just trim them to fit your vehicle, which I think is so cool. So we're gonna try these out. I think he wanted more of like a custom floor mats, but you know what, for the price, it was like 30 bucks, like, for four, let's just try them out. I think this will be a good fit. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel on your way out. I would really appreciate the support. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. To a different